Right off the bat, if you think rifles are the number one killer, you're wrong. FBI is saying simple items like this are responsible for more deaths. Across the United States in 2018, there were 1,515 deaths by knives or cutting instruments. 443 people were killed with hammers, clubs, or other blunt objects. 672 people were killed from fists, feet, or other personal weapons, compared to the 297 killed by rifles. The number of people killed by rifles declined from 2017 to 2018. In 2017, nearly four times as many people were stabbed to death than by rifles. Because when you have an assault rifle, you can take out an awful lot of people in a very short period of time. Kessler says that's why gun incidents get more publicity. Not everyone has the desire or the money to go in and get themselves an assault rifle. Saying the data doesn't surprise him. But anyone can reach to the drawer and pull out a butcher knife. It's a whole lot easier. But for Sangamon County data, Sheriff Jack Campbell says it's quite the opposite for the Sheriff's Department. We handle about one homicide a year if you actually go, go back and look at a 10-year window. Saying almost all of them from gunshot involving a handgun. We don't see the many blunt force trauma. We don't see rifles and shotguns being used very often in homicide. But says the national statistics don't shock him either. People can pick up a hammer. They can pick up a concrete block. There's almost anything that can be used um, at the spur of the moment. Saying more often than not, it's items like this used in an act of passion or a heat of the moment type situation. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Katie Bandish. Back to you.